Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today I'm going to be doing my last cash stuffing for the month of December. So this is going to be week four. I will be stuffing a total of $900 today. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. My name is Heather. I work on a working homestead here in Virginia with my husband. I am also self-employed so all of this income is my income after all of our uh, shared bills and things are paid I don't stuff my husband's income um, so that's why you may hear me talking about splitting certain things um, that's just the way that we have decided to uh, um, split up our finances and it's working really well for us right now um, if this is not your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome back. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to all of your sweet comments on my coin counting video. Um, I did like a little Q&A in that, um, and I've just gotten some really sweet like messages and comments on that video. Um, I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it yet, but I just wanted to say thank you because um, that came out around Christmas and Christmas was pretty difficult for me this year, um, so it was just really nice to um, see some of those. But we will go ahead and get this money counted and set up. So we've got one, two, three hundred, <clears throat> fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty, sixty, so five seventy, five ninety, six ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, seven ten, thirty, fifty, seventy. So 7, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is 855, 65, 75, 85, 95. 896, 7, 8, 9, and that's 900. Okay, so we are all set there. I'm going to go ahead and grab my coin jar <clears throat> and the coins. So I actually don't have very many, um, I'm jumping around a little bit, but I'm just going to grab them while I'm in here, but I don't have very many receipts. Um, my husband and I went on vacation like over the Christmas holiday, um, which we had so much fun. I'm really glad that we did that, um, instead of like staying home. So... That being said, I don't have a bunch of receipts, um, but I do have some coins. The receipts that I do have, um, <clears throat> I will scan into both my fetch and receipt hog. And I did want to say thank you. I had a lot of people sign up um, like last week, and uh, I was able to do a cash out on that again. Um, so I'll put that up here. But with Receipt Hog, I really like this one because not a lot of people have heard it yet. So you can get that referral bonus when you sign up. Um, but you're actually able to like take pictures of your receipts and get cash out of it. So like I always cash mine out to PayPal and I use that to pay down my PayPal line of credit. Um, so that is a really good one. I will put also my codes for both of those up here. If you're interested in signing up for either one, I know a lot of people already have Fetch, um, but like I said, Receipt Hog is amazing. I really love that one. It also lets you do surveys and things like that, so um, it's a really good one to check out if you haven't already. So now that I've completely uh, messed with the order that I do things around here, we'll finish up with the coins. <clears throat> And I do hope that y'all had a great Christmas. I'm filming this. Actually, I'm filming this on the same day that I think that y'all are going to see it. Because with Vlogmas, I'm doing the video, um, you know, one video every other day. Um, so, 368. We're getting back up there. Um, so, y'all are probably going to see this on the same day that I film it. Just a little later on. So I hope that y'all just had a great holiday, however you decided to spend it. Um, and I hope that you enjoy this like week of flux in between like Christmas and New Year's. 
honestly, this is normally one of my um, like favorite weeks of the year. Um, I'm going to do my best to still enjoy it this year. Um, it's just a little difficult with some things that we've had happen this year. Um, but I'm going to talk more about that in our like trying to conceive journey video, which y'all will see later this week. Um, but luckily my husband has off a majority. He has to go in a couple of days here and there, but since he works out of school, um, he normally gets all of that time off. So that definitely makes it a lot easier that I'm not like at home, um, by myself or anything like that. But, um, all of that to say, I hope that y'all had a wonderful holiday, however you decided to spend it. We're going to jump into my everyday binder. <clears throat> And groceries this week is going to be getting $50. So groceries has $50,100. So we really didn't touch the, <clears throat> the 50 that was in there from last week since we went out of town. We had like a vacation budget and um, we ate out kind of like as much as we could. Um, so we didn't really have to spend a whole lot in groceries. Dining out this week is going to get $20. Spending is going to be getting 50. And then pets is also getting 50. So pets has 50, 60. Which I feel like <clears throat> our Doberman, um, who he's still a puppy, um is kind of, I don't know if he's becoming picky or not. So the way that we feed our dogs is we give them like a kibble base um, that's for whatever life stage that they're in. And then we do like some like raw toppers and bones and um, different things like that. And I think maybe he is just getting picky. I don't think anything is wrong with his stomach, but he basically for the past like, I don't know, like two weeks hasn't been eating so, like, he gets fed twice. Um, he gets just kibble in the morning, and then he gets the kibble with toppers at night. And in the morning, he has decided that he, d he no longer wants to have breakfast, um, which is fine because he normally eats a lot for dinner anyway. But now he's gone to just, like, eating the little toppers that are on top of his food. Um, we've tried, like, mixing them in. He still just kind of, like, digs his way through and finds them. So I think that I'm going to need to switch up his food a little bit. Um, so it's nice that we have, that I have a good little bit in there to um, kind of get him on a better like feeding schedule because he is still growing. So he definitely needs to still be eating. Um, Self-care is going to get $5 for this week. All right. And that's all for my everyday binder. Moving on to my sinking funds binder. Date night is going to be getting $5. And we're starting over on this because this was some of the money that we took with us on vacation. Baby fund is going to be getting $10. So it has $100 in my high yield savings account, $110. And then health is going to be getting $10 as well. So health has 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 45 in health. And I'll start getting into this again. Um, when my husband switched jobs, we basically lost our health insurance. Um, so... Uh, once we are able to pick that back up, which I think is at the beginning of the year, um, that money will start coming out again and I'll start stuffing it with more each week. Um, medical will be getting $5 this week. So it has $55.60. And then clothing will be getting $5. I really need to, in this like week of flux that I was telling y'all about, because um, during this week, because 
Um, I have a pet care company. And since a lot of people stay home during this week, um, we're not very busy this week between Christmas and New Year's, which is fine by me because the holidays are always really busy for us from like November until the end of the year. So I appreciate the break. But in that time, I really want to go through my closet because there's a lot of stuff that I haven't worn in a really long time. Um, so I definitely don't need to be buying any more new clothing until I get all of that figured out. But the next time that I do get some, we have 10, 20, 5, and 30. So I'm just going to let that like kind of slowly build um, until at some point I need to purchase some new clothing. Um, so vacation is getting $10. So, and this will be for, we have a vacation coming up in April. Um, so this will be for that. Um, so it has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we had a couple ones left over from this one we just got back from. Subscriptions is going to get skipped for this week, as is annual bills, and then miscellaneous will be getting five dollars. So it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, and that's all for my sinking funds. Moving on to my holiday binder, we're going to stuff a couple of things in here, and I, I do like to always tell y'all that these are my holiday savings challenges. They are, like, scaled down because this was just a misprint, so I just like to let y'all know that if you purchase them, they don't come this small. Um, they come basically just big enough to fit into an A6 uh, zippered envelope, which you get with the savings challenges. So I've got the homestead bundle, which has like the chicken fund, it has a garden fund, things like that. And then my holiday bundle, which has a bunch of different ones, uh, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, Easter, 4th of July, um, Halloween, and Christmas. So you can, those are over on my Instagram, so it's just at homestead budgets, and you can order there if you would like. We're going to open back up. I didn't really like put anything out that I was closed, um, but I will, I'm going to try to take the rest of this week to kind of relax a bit, um, and then I'll get back going into it um, at the beginning of the year. So, New Year's Eve is going to get $10, and that's actually going to finish this one off because um, each one of these sets of flutes is $5, so by putting 10 in, that will be taken care of, which is just in time because New Year's Eve is on Sunday, and this is Wednesday when I'm filming this. We've got 51, 10, 25. So that one's all set. I'm going to go ahead and color these last two in. Okay, and that one's all done, which is great because I just started filling these out in October, so um, it's nice to be able to save up a little bit for that. So New Year's Eve is done, and then the only other one we're doing in here today is Valentine's Day, and that's going to get $3, so one, two, three. So Valentine's Day now has 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now that New Year's Eve is, well, I mean, not done and over, but pretty much by the end of this week, um, I will start focusing on um, Valentine's Day more um, and, uh, you know, kind of go from there. Because I'm not giving myself, because I just started all of these in October, like, I'm not giving myself that full year where I could just put in, you know, like a couple bucks every week. Um, so, this first kind of year is going to be catch up with these. And then afterwards, so like the next New Year's Eve one that I do, I'll just be able to put money in here and there. Um, since I'll have a full year to save up for that. So, that is all 
in my holiday binder. Moving on to my homestead binder. So bulk shopping is going to get $10. So it has 20, 30, 40. Household is getting $5. So it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. House maintenance is also getting $5. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. So it has $50.75. Feed is getting $10. And that's all that it has. And then electric is getting $5. So we found out what was going on with our electric bill because it was a lot cheaper this past month than it has been. Um, so we are through a co-op with our um, like electric service. And there was some kind of credit that all the members got back. Um, so like our next three months worth of bills are going to be a lot lower. Um, our electric bill is going to be a lot lower than it normally is, which is... Very nice, especially like the timing of it is wonderful. Um, so I'll just be stuffing like a little bit here and there for electric. Moving on to my business binder. Car maintenance is going to be getting $20. And it's so nice. This is like the first money that I'm putting in here in months. That's going to get to stay in here because those tires are paid off. I'm so excited. Um, gas will be getting $50 for this week. And then growth and YouTube are both going to be getting skipped. Income is going to get $200. Got one. Got two. So in income, I've got one, two, three, four, five hundred in my high yield savings account, and then six and seven hundred. So this is just an envelope for um, I used to when I was doing my budget. Um, any money that I had left over at the end, I would put all towards debt. Um, but because January and February are normally slower for my business. I figured through the holidays, I was going to split that difference between income and extra debt, just so that way I am looking out for my future self, um, since I will have a lowered income for those months. Um, so I will just basically dip into here when I need to. And I mean, if I don't need to, that's wonderful. Um, and I will, you know, put it towards debt, maybe once everything is a little bit more stable through the beginning of the year. Um, but I just kind of figured a little safety net, uh, never hurt anybody. Um, and then cell phone is getting $20. So cell phone has 50, 70, 80. And I have people ask all the time, um, because I don't really stuff a whole lot into cell phone. This is for my cell phone bill. This is the one that I have for my business, and it's through Mint to Mobile, um, which I've really been enjoying. As long as you have service, which they have like a map on their website and everything, um, the plans are super super cheap. They're like um, they're like thirty ish dollars a month for unlimited, um, which is working out perfectly for me. The only thing is that you um, don't pay like per month. You either buy a three month, a six month, or a 12 month. So that's why I'm kind of, you'll see me save up for it for a couple of months and then I'll pull it out. Um, but I like to do it that way um, because it ends up being cheaper each month and that is working out really, really well for my business. So I'll put a link for them down in the comments below. They're always running specials and stuff. Um, I think when I first signed up, I got my first three months for like $15 a month. So I basically paid $45 and had service for three months, which was, I mean, you can't really beat that. Um, moving on to my debt binder. 
that extra debt payment, so the other half of that income. So $200 is going in here as well. So we've got 200 and then I'm just going to do some 20s. I'm sorry, I've got 100 and then I'm going to do some 20s. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's 200. So that is all good until next week. And then last but not least, my savings binder, which I'm just doing a couple of things in here while I'm focusing on my debt. So my fertility savings is going to be getting $50. And I do kind of have a big, uh, a big update when it comes to what we're doing to um, start our family. Um, my husband and I have been trying for over a year to start our family. We've had recurrent miscarriages. Um, and it's just been a big, big toll on us. So I'm actually looking forward to doing something different. But I think I'm going to let y'all know that in that um, like fertility journey video that I'm going to do for y'all later this week. So stay tuned for that one. So in here, I've got five, six, seven hundred in my high yield savings account, fifty eight fifty. So eight hundred and fifty dollars in there, which is amazing. OK. And then this is my thousand dollar savings challenge. So this is actually just a savings challenge that I'm doing to um, pay off my debt. So it's not even real. It's not like real savings. It's just a fun way to um, to kind of save up some money to pay off debt. Um, so it's going to be getting $47 this week. So we've got 20, 40, 5, 6, and 7. So in here we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 235, 41, 2. So 242. So we're over 24% of the way there. <laughs> that's how I like to look at it. We're almost a quarter of the way there. That's really great. Okay. So we've got that. Um, and I'm going to get that all colored in. I will be doing a set of these. Um, I'll probably launch them at the beginning of the year. Um, and, uh, I'll probably do something kind of similar to what I've been doing. So I'll, I might have like a 200, a 400, 600, 800,000. That's what I think that I'm going to do. Um, and then, you know, and you can use these for whatever I'm using them for debt just because it makes it a little bit more fun to, um, kind of save up big chunks like this and then pay that big chunk off towards debt. But, I mean, you can use them for whatever you want to. If you're on the savings part of your journey, use it for saving up for whatever you like. You don't have to use them towards debt. That's kind of the the great thing about them is that you don't have to use them towards anything specific. And then, last but not least, is going to be my Homestead Savings Challenge. So, this is going to get $40 this week. So, we've got $20, 30 40 so I've got 500 in my high yield savings account, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600. Yeah, awesome, cool. I didn't realize that had built up as fast as it has. So, and this is for, so um, my husband and I, like I said, have a homestead here in Virginia and we do produce a lot of farm products, eggs, um, jams, things like that, um, just produce itself that we would like to like build a farm stand, like at the end of our driveway and be able to sell some of those products to our local community. So this savings challenge is going to be for whatever structure we decide to do for that farm stand, whether it's my husband builds something or we buy like a little shed and kind of just like convert it into a farm stand. Um, that's what this is for. And, oh, I never, oh, I know what happened. So I had to like reprint this one because y'all know I like messed up the just paper one that I had in here. So I don't think I ever filled these out. So each one of these barns is $40. So the total for this savings challenge is going to be $1,000. So, 
And that's another thing with these savings challenges in all of my bundles. They're all customizable. Well, minus the like thousand dollar ones, because that's obviously for a specific amount. But with any of these, you can make the icons however much you want them to be. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be done. I'm trying to stuff $40 a week. So this will be January, February. So by mid-March, which is wonderful. I think I had a goal for myself to have this done by April. Um, so that even gives me a little bit of wiggle room if I need it. Okay, so we are all set here for today, guys. If y'all have made it all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you so, so much. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to y'all a little bit later. Bye, y'all.